What's up, fam? Lord, I got a message for you. And I pray this blesses somebody in need too. But first, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just want to come firstly to say thank you for the person clicking on this video, whatever they may be going through. I pray that you put your your peace and your love and your presence in their life right now, Lord, as they watch this video and as I speak your word to them, Lord. I pray whatever they may be going through, you stop their situation and let them know that you're still here and there in the midst of their struggles, in the midst of their battles. And I pray that you anoint me, your ability to speak your word with supernatural ability that is more you than it is in me, Lord. And I pray that whoever's watching this video may get more knowledge and more wisdom and get a better understanding of you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So, uh, I just wanted to talk about faith and trusting in the Lord's ability to get you through what you're going through. Right now, I'm in 1 Corinthians, 3, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. It says, three things that will last for, forever, faith, hope, and love, and the, and the greatest of these is love. So, when you're going through your situations and you losing faith, you can't just have faith. You have to have hope and you have to have love. When you have faith, you have, yeah, you might have faith that something's going to happen, but you might not hope. You might hope that it goes that way and not the other way. You have to hope that it's going to go that way, have faith that it's going to go that way, and have love for the Father that he loves you so much that he's going to lead you in that way. So, yeah, you might pray and hope for this thing, but then you hope for it and you don't have faith towards it. Or you might hope for it and have your faith in somewhere else. Yeah, I hope this is going to happen, but this is going to happen. I have faith that I'm going to fail. Yeah, I hope the Lord puts me pulls me through this, but I, I have faith that he's not. So you got to when you when you're going through trials and tribulations and you're going through hardships, you have to remember the Lord's love. As it says, and the greatest of these is love because love is going to get you through so much more than you think. When you're down to your lowest and you're feel like giving up and you have that love to worship the Lord, you have that love to worship the Father, you have that that love to get up and still raise your hands and say, I surrender to you. You're all knowing Father. You're a loving Father, you're a caring Father, and I know you're gonna get me through this, so I'm gonna worship you in the midst of my battles. You have to have that type of love. And you have to have that type of faith that you're gonna get up the next day and still go go at it, 100%. Like today, I, I, I get ready, I get my clothes ready before I go to school. I get, ready, I get them ready at night. And I put them down on my little chair right here. And when I wake up, I throw them on. Because I'll be tired, bro. I throw them on, I go brush my teeth, and I go right back to sleep. And I wake up with my wash on and leave. So, when I put my clothes here at night, I don't, I don't wake up in the morning doubting that my clothes aren't going to be there. Because I trust in my ability to put them there the night before. And I remember that I put them there. Sometimes when you have faith, you got to remember what the Lord already has done for you. You got to remember those, those months back when he put you through that situation you couldn't get through. You got to remember that the Lord has already done it. 
you already done it. You just you're waiting for the time to come. And then if that time, in the midst of that time, you fall to sin, he already knows. He already written another path, a way for you to get back up. So when you have faith, it lasts, it lasts forever, man. Your faith will go farther than anything you, um, you, you think of. Your doubt, uh, your doubt will fade away once that faith starts to grow. Once you start to see into the future, that doubt is starting to drop more and more and more. Because doubt is, is just fear. And fear is nothing but an illusion. It's false evidence appearing real. So you can't look at your, your, your doubt as your faith. I have faith that I put my clothes here at night. So in the morning I can wake up and put them back on. I can put them on. Even though I may put them on backwards and inside out, I still put them on. I still got to school with not anybody else, not anybody noticing it. Yeah, I had a jacket on, but they didn't tell me to take off my jacket at school. You get through your day, you get through your life trusting the Lord, not knowing how you're going to get through it, but you get through it without anybody else doing it. You know it's the Lord. I grabbed the wrong socks this morning. I grabbed ankle socks and my ankles was ashy. Nobody said nothing about it. I thought they was going to say something about my shirt. Nobody said nothing about it, but we got through the day. And actually, somebody complimented my hair. I went the whole day thinking, oh, they're going to say something about my ankles. I'm over here trying to trying to cover my ankles while I'm walking and this and that. And the whole time, they come in my hair because I trusted the Lord to get me through that. The Lord always protects you. You may not know. You may not know how you're going to get through it. But when you get through it, you're going to know that it was him because you won't know how you got through it. He's not going to tell you every step of what he's doing. He's not going to tell you, oh, I'm about to do this. So get ready. Or oh, I'm about to do that. So get ready. Oh, that person's looking at your, your ankle. So I'm don't, don't look at them. Just keep walking. He's not going to tell you everything to do. He wants to, you to step out on faith so you know it is him working in your life and not something else. I hoped somebody wouldn't look at my ankles and say, man, your ankle's ashy. Or man, your shirt inside out and is backwards. Man, you must, you must bend on something when you woke up. No, I hope nobody would look at my ankles. And I had faith that we were going to get through this day quick and smoothly, which it did. And none of that happened without me trusting in the Lord. Because the conversation came up, it's not like somebody didn't adjust my attire because I had a do-rag on it. It was like, oh, you cut your hair, let me see. So they had to look at me to see I didn't. I cut my hair. Yeah, they could have they adjust my ankles, but the Lord put it on their heart to speak about my hair. And look, I got a compliment about it. But I know it's the Lord because I know they saw my ankles, but they didn't say anything. Maybe they wanted to, but they didn't. So you may not know what's going to happen. You may think and have doubt that it's not going to go the way that you think. But you have to have hope and faith that what you ask for is going to happen. That and you have to have the love, you have to have that love that you have to know that the Lord loves you so much that he's going to, to build your confidence and he's going to show that he loves you in different type of ways. Like, like today, <laughs> I'm going to keep bringing this up, like today, he had to show his love through somebody. Oh, it's a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Because I was so worried about my appearance that how I look 
And someone actually complimented that. So it didn't give me like a big ego head boost, but it was like, oh, thank you. See, now it builds up my mood, my builds up my day because the Lord goes through somebody to encourage you. Sometimes you have to look at what the Lord does for other, done for other people to be like, oh, if he can do it for that person, he can definitely do it for me. Sometimes it takes looking at that person that, that's been going through something and you still see them smiling every day to be like, okay, so if they know the Lord is getting you through, getting them through it, then maybe, maybe I should smile because maybe my situation isn't as bad as theirs. Or maybe I should smile because maybe my situation is worse than theirs and I'm, I'm just not trusting the Lord how they're trusting the Lord. So it may look like mine's worse than theirs. You have to have that perception, that perception, I think that's the word. <laughs> the perception, the, that's, I think I'm saying that wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But the way you look at it is what you got to think about. So today y'all got to have faith, love, and hope. Because faith is the things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So you have to hope for the things not seen and have faith. You have to have faith from the things not seen and hope for the things to come. Because the Lord has a plan for your future. You might be looking at right now, but he has a plan for the future. You may be looking at the now, the job you have now, but that job you have now might connect you to the person that's going to build your business in the future. You have to look at it a different way. You have to have faith in the Lord. And you have to have love that he loves you so much. So I pray this reaches somebody it needs to. I pray y'all having a blessed day today. And I love y'all. Jesus loves y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video.